Welcome to the podcast for the sisters and bros. It will make you laugh from your head to your toes. Talking about their lives, from the highs to the lows. And the name of the title goes... The Sloppy Joes. Welcome everyone to the Sloppy Joes podcast. Oh, Sloppy Joes 2.0. Oh. If you don't know, get to know. Get to know. This is the second edition of our, our new look. It feels quite similar, doesn't it? It does. But now, oh, go on. There's what, a lot of changes. A lot of changes afoot. First of all, what the hell is that? We have got a brand new uh, logo. I was going to yeah. say set them. It's exactly the same. People set. saw it on Friday, but we had a guest, so we couldn't be like, oh, aren't we like patting ourselves on the back? But we've got a new logo. It Can't, really yeah. explores your sort of five o'clock shadow doesn't it it really does i think he's been quite generous with my hair for Yo, the audio look listeners how thick it is um that's sons you look you a sons. little bit mental i look mental well the eyes used to be even bigger yeah and i act to, i act, i asked for them to can you can you smallify the eyes and he and he has smallified them so they are slightly smaller but again it shows my sort of my irish root it really does uh, and do you know what we didn't mention for the first time uh, since the start of the Sloppy Joes, yeah. Ethan's got his own one as well. Ethan's got his own one. Can we add that in now? Look at that. Wow. Wow. Look Ethan, you, how are you, you feeling, mate? Oh, yes. Well, got me uh, quiff in there, doesn't it? Yeah. Me glasses. Mm -hmm. And a bit of a bit of stubble, which I, I didn't really associate much with me because it's not that impressive, my stubble, but it's nice to see on a character. It look, makes you look like, like a bloke. Yeah, and we had to tell him to cut out your wonky teeth at the start, and then he just made them nice at the end. Oh, well, that's really kind of him. Thank but you. Also, you do have your stubble. You're very rarely clean shaven these days. Ah, uh, yes, that's because I use Manscaped. I don't know. Which no, sponsor sponsor the other channel yeah, that I work for. Them, but they don't sponsor us, so we don't talk about them. Oh, Good. And also, throughout the show, you might hear uh, jingles. Oh, my God. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Jingle all, all the, way the way to the top of the charts on Spotify. It really is. So, so. all these different... A uh, little new features that we've got. I've got brand new jingles. Listen out for that. And also, with that comes just an excitement, a giddiness. And if you want to join in on that goodness, if you want to become a top slopper, join the Patreon, Sloppy Joe's uh, Patreon. It was it patreon.com forward slash Sloppy, Sloppy Joe's, Joe's podcast. Yeah. The link is in the description. Go and check it out. Loads of extra content, early access to every single podcast as well, and the special features, Q and A's, come down with me specials, all sorts of special features and, and, and content on there. So make sure you go and check it out. For I'll tell you what, the price of only you know nine or ten coffees. It is indeed. It's like one coffee, really. And let's get into our 10k hunt. We need to get to 10k subscribers. 10. We're nearly eight. Uh, well, no, I'm, I'm 28, but we're nearly eight k subs mentally. Yeah. Let's get to 10, yeah. Ethan. What would you do at 10K subscribers? I've never tried cocaine before, Joe. See? You how? There's your Patreon special, <clears throat> okay? He digs into your mountain of cocaine that I've seen at your house. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever opened the There's cookie no jar? mountain of cocaine. And I said, what's all this? You, some of you have some Viennese whirls. Oh, it's not Viennese. Can I say, the reason why I don't do cocaine is <clears throat> look at me. Yeah. The cocaine diet is very famous in Hollywood. Do I look no. like I've been on that? No, but do you know when you get to a certain point where you do so much cocaine that you can get hungry on cocaine? Like I've never done Diego that. Diego Maradona. I'm not saying you have. I'm Diego or, Maradona got hungry on cocaine. Yeah. Well, he was obese, wasn't he, at the point of... Uh, what about Cocaine Bear, Drew? Yeah, the film. That would be you. That's what Real you'd be known as if, if you started on My it. My nickname. I'm more of a cub at the minute, aren't I? Yeah. In the uh, gay community, I know I don't think so. I think no, no, a bears is over a certain age. Mm. I have to be over like I think thirty-five. Do you know what I've just had there? What? My first cod liver oil burp. That's right. I've got a new fitness regime. So, so with a brand new Sloppy Joe's two point comes a brand new fitness regime. <laughs> new year, same me. What are you Bye -bye. doing in your life at the minute then? Ah, uh, I'm so I'm, honestly, I couldn't be more glad that you've asked. Ever heard of knees over toes, guy? Right, so, so, <laughs> we're, in. so we're in. We're in. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back, folks. Are you still mewing? <laughs> it's so mad. Audio listeners, he's sort of pointing down his face. It doesn't look any better. It doesn't look any better, does no, it? it but it can take years to restructure the jaw and face. Years. Oh, sorry. Do you want a lifestyle or do you want a quick fix? A quick fix. Brought to you by Sons. But if you want <laughs> oh, to do something. Sorry, that you know takes a long time that can sort of change the, the structure of the head it's going to take more than a day isn't it yes it is so what are you doing with yourself then knees over toes guy so oh, have you ever heard of dunking a basketball you've certainly never done it but have you heard of it i've heard of dunking donuts 
very similar thing. So instead of jumping up to the top shelf and getting Boston cream donut, another one of them. I'll pay at the end, don't worry. What's that, going on? That's, so, I don't know. so instead of jumping up to grab the top Boston cream donut on the top of the shelf, yeah. you jump up with a basketball in your hand and you put it through the rim but from oh. above the rim. So the hand goes above the rim. We all know what dunking a basketball is. There's a guy called Knees Over Toes guy, right? Who in his early, who in his teens and his 20s, yeah. terrible knee pain, surgery, really? oh, oh, scar tissue, that. scar tissue out the wazoo, man. Wazoo? Out the wazoo. Only you, ba ba dum da da dum uh, <laughs> He then re researched and looked into why the knee was failing, okay? And now he can dunk a basketball. And I've Brilliant. seen it online. Right, really? Wow. So, yeah. So he's, he's completely, his knee health has gone through the roof. And when I said that sentence to Lizzie, she walked out of the room. But I've had a bad knee. Do you remember at the Carabao Cup final? Take yourselves back to, I believe, February 2023. Yeah. Ethan James, it was one of the worst days of your life. Actually, it wasn't, because the Geordies were just happy to be there. Yeah, happy to be there. Yeah. We're having a bath in, 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 a, in a water fountain in down in London. <laughs> what a first bath at year. First bath at, for me Geordie Lake. So they were just happy to be there. United, on the other hand, went to win, okay? And they did win. Yes. When that second goal went in, basically the one that sort of, it felt like took it away from yeah, the yeah, vessel. Yeah. It, Adam McCullough jumped on me, and I fell backwards over my chair, and ever since that day, my knee has been fucked. Really? We're over a year now. Really? I went to the hospital, not like the day of, but like I went to physio, which was at the hospital. He thinks I've, I've torn my meniscus, or a partial tear of the meniscus. He thinks? Well, they didn't scan it. Right. Because it's NHS, in it? They ain't got the time or the machinery for that. <laughs> it's just some bloke who pulls it and goes, does that hurt? No, the meniscus. Do you feel nice? It don't feel nice. Uh, so whenever I stand up, if I, I can't crouch fully, and if I do it, pops. It makes like a popping Fucking noise. But up. it's never got any worse, but it's never got any better. So this guy is my new guru. So as of yesterday... But you've not said a thing yet. What? You've not said anything yet. In terms of... You've just talked a lot at talked me. Talked a lot at you, yes. And I don't know what you're I'll, actually I'll do, doing. Talk a lot at you. You say, do that. You're saying you're going toe over knee. Mm -hmm. What does it even mean, it's Joe? Over the, you listen to his <laughs> knees over toes. Oh, a fucking dickhead. What's going on? <laughs> what is going on then? Knees over toes. Yes. So it's multiple different ways of putting, instead of strengthening the muscles around the knee, like bodybuilding does or weightlifting does, you're strengthening the tendons and the, and the stuff within the knee. Uh, yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. So backward sled pulls as of yesterday. As That's the main yesterday. one. I've just started. What do I want me to do? What do I want me to do? Have 10 years experience or something when I just started? Yeah, well, I remember, Joe, it was about, it was about last year. You right. were telling me, by this time next year, <laughs> you're going to be eating 8,000 calories bulking out your head. Wow. And now you're doing knee over toe yeah, uh, oh, thingies. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry I had a traumatic leg injury that I've struggled to get over both physically and mentally. I'm so sorry about that. I've gone through arguably the worst time of my life. With no, you've not. Health. Your knee is not the worst time of your life. Stop doing shit like that. So, it new begins. year, new us. So, I'm going to be dunking about. I'm six foot four. I googled it, and I should already be able to dunk a basketball. Oh, really? Yeah. Apparently, if I've got an average jump, I could dunk a basketball. Now, if I've done it before, I can flick the bottom of the rim, but I can't get like over and in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in a year's time, <laughs> this is my promise. Okay, man. I will be able to dunk a basketball. Not in a year, five years. That's brilliant. But hopefully, man, I just want my knee to stop popping every time I bend down. If anyone's got any tips on like training your meniscus health or whatever, we've got an audience, haven't we? People should help. His knees over toes, guy, is he any good? <laughs> yeah. I heard him on a podcast and I saw him do a dunk and I went, that's me all over. Oh, but yeah, that's me now. That's so funny. I'm going to be an expert on knee health from now on. If well, congratulations. Tips, everyone, round of applause. Well done, Drew. Thank you. How are you thinking about that, Ethan? Oh, well, it's great to hear. It's another regime for Joe, a yep. new 2.0. A new two, five, six, seven, eight, nine point oh for Joe, probably. So what are you trying to say with that? Just your commitment levels to try new things is, 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 is brilliant. Do yeah, it's a bit like the iPhone. Like, you think it's getting better, but it's probably not. You're just changing little things to make it. Like, what? I'm sure the app will bring out... Like, I'm thinking the next iPhone... 16. ...won't be as good. It'll change things around just so that the one after will be better. Yeah. Well, that's what I am. I'm a, I'm a, and I, the thing is though, I've done all these things and some of them I've stuck to. Like I still, I have a cold shower every day. Do you really do that? Yeah, every, every time I, every time I shower. So if I don't shower, then I don't obviously, but if I shower, then I, I have a cold segment at the end. 
to get to polish me off. Is it really? Is it really good for you? I mean, I've, I don't you know. see the ice baths and stuff. I think that is. might be like in 20 years time, we figure out that was just as bad for you as smoking. <laughs> so you, you know so instead of that, you, you, know you start the day with, with 20 fags, don't you? Yeah, no. Because you said, <laughs> a nice bubble bath. Yeah, nice bubble bath. When have we ever gone wrong with a couple the of singies in the bath, like something from uh, Absolutely Fabulous. <laughs> um, but so I do that. I try and wake up early, go to bed a bit earlier. I'm trying to do different things, but I, you feel the same. If I'm honest, I feel the same as I did 12 months ago. Yeah. Am I getting any better? You're looking all right, yeah. <laughs> do you, do you think, is he getting any do better? Do you know what I mean, though? Does anything change? Yes, I'm, I'm in a cold shower now, but am I, am I, am I happier than I've ever been? I don't know. But well, you've really. got your media dome. How's that looking? Oh, that is wicked, actually. Yeah, I've got some new speakers for it. Got a little dial so I can switch between the Xbox, the laptop with the Spotify, and the PC. So depending on what I'm listening to, I can just flick it and then it's coming out the speakers. I love it. I'm really? You yeah. love it, yeah. Yeah. Have you been ringing the bell much? I ring the bell. Bing, bing, got Lizzie to bring me, rolled a couple of mandarins down the stairs. Really? And I got <laughs> like a little turtle at the bottom. I'm loving it. I love How are it. you? Sorry about, Good, what, about what, me, but my what, knee health is paramount to this podcast. What did I do? Um, what did I do? What did I do? I unfortunately made my highlight of the, well, not highlight of the weekend. My biggest story of the weekend was unfortunately making a kid, I don't know what age, piss themselves. Is this that Guantanamo Bay fetish you've got? No, no, no. Um, I, so I was on a train. <laughs> what? I was on a train and I really needed the toilet. Frontsies to, or backsies? Uh, fr- backsies. To the point where I was getting on the train and there's five minutes to go and I was in a bit of a- I was Five a bit minutes a, to go to what? Till so? the train takes off. It's at Piccadilly. Okay. Yeah. And I think to myself, what, what's going on here? Like, I, I'm stunned a little bit because that door, the automatic electric door for the toilets is not working. So I, 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 in my head, I'm going, I, I don't think I can stay on this train for 20 minutes to get to Stockport. But mm-hmm. my God, I hope that there's a little bit in the engine for the driver that's not just turned on yet, then allowing me Yeah, to, like they've not like, switched all the electrics yeah. on yet. Yeah. So here's what I can do. I can get off the train, yeah. can go to the toilet, then I can wait for about another 20, 25 minutes to get on another bit, bit to Stockport. Yeah. Or train. I can pray. And oh my God, did I pray? Pray what for the? That they to, yeah. On so then five minutes went, boom. And now at this point, there's a family that's come on, and there's a kid. He's like, man, neither we, neither we. Oh, <laughs> but I'm, I'm at the toilet door, right? Are you, anyway. are, you, are you looking at him, going, oh? No, no, no. My head. I'm not you're just pretending you're not seeing it. I've got my headphones on and focused on that door light, and when it goes off, boom, I'm straight in there. Anyway, so it transpires that my thinking and my exiting stinking. Um, took that long that the kid, in, kid, a kid needed the toilet, and I was in there for that long that it, it pissed itself outside. It. Oh, hey. I could just hear tears. No. I could hear crying. What are you doing? And that I could, I'm you like, come no, no. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm quickly clearing myself up, cleaning myself up, and here's my plan. Like, it's like a fucking game now. Because like you said, I can't come up, but I have to, because I want, I want them to get into the toilet. So you've got those doors that go slide open. So I'm gonna look like the bad guy, aren't I? No matter yeah. what. You're gonna look so, like Darth Vader as that door opens. So God forbid anyone recognize me. So I just got the zip up jacket all the way up, hood on like that, headphones on. And as soon as it goes, I'm gonna be out and turn. And my God, did I turn. What are you looking out for? What coming would you have out, done? Coming out looking like. Oh, would you have said sorry? Terrorist. A, huh? a terrorist. Oh. Take that back and look like, Why are you like covering a, your face up like you've done a crap? I don't want to be seen. <laughs> there you go. Don't want to be seen. Right. I don't want to see it as the person who's caused this carnage. Got the clover on. Apart from that, went to the Alex for some food on Saturday. That was great. Um, and um, I'm helping some friends out with a croquette business. Yeah, what is this? Is what do you mean? The French golf? Croquette, the croquette boys. What is that? Oh, the boys. What um, is that though, really? So there's a group... Well, there's two lads, Chris and Cam, or Cam and Chris, how do you want to say it? Chris and Cam. Uh, they love croquettes, but like the Spanish traditional way, where it's bechamel sauce, so it's not like potatoes. So why is there. a croquette then? Because in my head, it's like basically a hash brown, but in like a tube. Yeah, it's like a tube, but it's filled with all sorts. So they've got chorizo and honey, they've got a carbonara one, they've got a cauliflowered one, uh, they've also got a garlic and herb one, and it's just these really delicious bites of croquettes Stick them in your mouth and so you're what, away. So like a little tray? Or yeah, they come on like a little tray. You can either get a serving of two for a couple of quid or you can get a flavouring of How big are they? Them. Quite big, chunky. Are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, and also, they're very rich. 
Are they? And very delicious. See, so and I, you might be looking and going, oh, I'm going to have to get loads here, but you're not. You're as not. soon as you've had like three or four, that's good. Perfectly what you should do as well is full. for new business, make sure anyone who's going to buy from them knows to only not spend a lot. Yeah, but listen, if you come in, because I'm doing a, I'm doing it. Oh, this has already been out. I'm doing a pop up at the Alex pub near uh, me. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so I'm taking over the front yard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Flying away. Anyway, I'm just there to help him out because, you know, I, I, I've always wondered what it's like to run a food business. And instead of starting one from scratch, yeah. I'm just going to help out and learn. So then you, maybe one, like for once, for instance, if me and you wanted to open a cafe one day, didn't we? Yeah. The Slobber Just Cafe. We yeah. can't just do it. No. We need to learn. Yeah. Like, for example, when we started this, this wasn't our first rodeo in the world of like YouTube, was it? Yeah. You knew what you were doing with thumbnails. Ethan was, Ethan, yeah. you know, we knew what we were doing. Yeah, he was. So if I ever do it in the future, the croquette boys, I'm there to learn. That's good, that. you love it. I'll bring them in, 9 out of 10. I, I'd hate it if I brought them in. Actually, you know, you'll never try them. Bring them in on a Friday. You'll never try them. 1 out of 10, baby. <laughs> I'm only joking. They sound really good. you love I them. I think as well, um, your life is amazing, isn't it? Do you appreciate it, do you think? Because we were talking before and you were talking about, because we've got the 9 out of 10 club here, yeah. and we were talking about like, oh, should we, do you want one? Or just, I'll just have a couple of bites because I'm, I'm eating too much with my with my work. Do you realise how incredible your life and work is? But, do you realise that? Can I, but I have, I've worked hard to build no, this. No, I'm not saying no, that. I, know, I didn't not, say it I'm was not. luck. I, yes, didn't I, say do, was... I, do, I do appreciate it. Do but I've grafted a lot. I've done a lot of crazy shit in my time oh, yeah. to be at a point where I can start an all right food channel what's the craziest I, shit you've ever done i had to i was thinking about this the other day one of my craziest stuff i've ever done in my life was at like 1 a.m in the morning work for bbc five live in the, in the morning and i had to we used to take the nfl live on the radio hmm. and i had to um listen to the output one minute ahead of everyone else in the uk so that when the radio station we took the output from in america went to an advert I could jot down the exact time mm. and the person in control obviously adds a minute on. So say I hear an advert at 30 seconds past 10, they know that at 30 seconds past 11 to dip the output. I once fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> and a Coca-Cola advert went out on the BBC. <laughs> Coca-Cola, fresh. <laughs> and then everyone was like, oh, I'm like oh, what? Must have missed it. Sorry, I thought Coca-Cola was the name of the presenter. I thought it was, no. that was one of the players. But then I used to go home at four. I'd be back up again at seven, getting into uh, into a Key 103, which was another station. I used to do the pots for them. The, oh, yeah, you grabbed it. So, yeah, I do know that life's a bit wild at the yeah. minute. But there's a long way to go. Is there? What, what's next? Stop a Joe's 2.0. Stop a Joe's 2.0. Getting looking this great. another level. That is looking great, isn't it? Cracking yeah, on. Do you know what I mean? Getting the croquette boys up and running. Yeah. You know what I mean? When are you going to start your own food van? Food That's what I mean. I'm learning. We're going to start a Sloppy Joe's Cafe. A Sloppy Joe's Cafe. I think. Oh. I also saw a really good. Do you know the guy in the bear? Have you seen the bear? Yeah. He did a Looks really like Willy good. Wonka, doesn't he? he did a really good Sloppy Joe's the other day. On what? Like a recipe for it on his TikTok. Did he? Phenomenal. Was it? Phenomenal. So, the Sloppy Joe's Cafe. We probably have to serve Sloppy Joe's, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. But, but we just make them really good. But just like bacon sandwiches and that. Yeah. We've got a new sponsor. Hey! This is very exciting. As the sloppers welcome Surfshark. Hello, Surfshark. I Would like you surfing. I like sharks. Imagine if you saw a shark surfing. On a surfboard. Well, that's basically what you get with Surfshark VPN, isn't it? Now, for those who don't know, Joe, the words VPN, what, is, what does it mean? And why is it so bloody good? If I'm honest, I don't know what the letters mean, but I do know what it means. It means online internet security. Yes. Not just do you get extra security, your IP address isn't being tracked 24 seven like it is normally. Mm -hmm. You also get access to loads of great content when you're not in the country that you're from. Yes, indeed. You know indeed. when you go on holiday and you want to watch a bit of Premier League football? Yeah. When you go on holiday, actually that new thing out on Netflix, oh, it's out first in America. Maybe let me just, change my country, nip over to America, and watch it there. No strings attached. This sounds pretty bad, but I always like to use VPNs for reality shows when I'm away. Yeah. I did, uh, I was in England for a lot of the time whilst I was sunbathing in Spain, yeah. watching Love Island. You were, in, you were in Spain, but your laptop was in England. It was indeed. It's uh, beautiful. Are we? Yes. 
the Sloppy Joes have got an incredible offer for you. A coffee priced offer. Oof. You know what I mean? And we love our coffee. Oh, God. Do we? Do we? Uh, we have got 81% off for you sloppers and up to three months free. If you want to join with Surfshark, all you got to do is look at this. Ooh, Ooh. A little website for you to visit. Beautiful. It is. Let me get this right. Surfshark.deals forward slash sloppy. And also, Joe, how amazing is that offer? But there is no risk in trying Surfshark. They offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. 30 days is one more than 29. That's unbelievable. That's February on a good year. <laughs> and you get longer than that. <laughs> This is what you need to know. Surfshark are, are amazing new sponsors, and we've got a deal for you, Sloppers. So go and make the most of it now. The link is in the description. And our code is what, Joe? Surfshark.deals forward slash sloppy. Ethan, have you been, mate? you got a lot of gossip coming on. You've got to be to Canterbury. You've been blocked from WhatsApp. Yeah, kicked out of WhatsApp. Is right. this was this for what was this for then? Spreading what stuff off the dark web? Um, it was for uh, being a spam account. All right, what, what does that I've, mean? I've long said that. Um, what does being a spam account mean? It means um, I think being untrustworthy, untrue. Yeah. Um, yep. Designed to manipulate others. Yeah, I would agree with that. And. Yeah, I just guess that's that's Was the one incident now. in particular that tipped you over the edge? Or oh, you were... yeah. Why? I made a group chat. Hmm. That's what, what got what me gone. It, what was it called? It, w it was called um, Sloppy Joe's um, Sponsorship Opportunities or something like that. Okay, that's but wordy, he, isn't it? He then, sp he then sent that group chat out to everyone in his contacts <laughs> list. <laughs> Please, oh. will you pay us to do our podcast, is what he was doing. Well, yeah, so I made it, and then immediately... I, I don't know if it was a divine intervention or to suggest right, that was WhatsApp HQ, wasn't it? Well, I, I don't know if it had deeper reason. Maybe it didn't want us to explore monetary opportunities because <laughs> it's just a good old, genuine, hard-working, entertaining podcast. And we don't need ads. We just need passion. Elbow grease. Help me, passion. So you're you back on now? Oh, yes, let me back in. I appealed the decision. Oh, good man. Yeah, good man. Yeah, you got this. You. Was but there a point where you felt like, do you know the, the people in the past who've gone into sort of political exile? Yeah. Do you know, like Salman Rushdie? Yeah. Like, had to sort of stay home. Who's after. the guy who WikiLeaks? Yeah, uh, Julian Assange. Julian yeah. Assange. Did you, yeah. uh, who's the other one? The uh, the Edward Snowden. Snowden. These people who release sort of controversial. Hands. No, that's a different, that's just a different thing. That's fiction. Did you feel for a minute like a kind of a, a sort of cultural and political messiah almost that you you dare to do the thing that the, that the establishment just couldn't handle? I would I would more so go down the route, Drew, that it was it was a pain in the arse. Yeah, because <laughs> uh, I had to I think just... it was that. I think for Assange living in the embassy for six years, that was yeah, a pain yeah, in the arse. Well. Very similar. You, you, kind of, WhatsApp group. you can relate to him. Well, I, I just had to message everyone saying. I've been banned from WhatsApp, and every single person would ask me as to why. So yeah. I, I feel that people would just trust that it was an innocent mistake or anything. Yeah. But people really do have these presumptions about me now. But I, I think I think much more highly of you than I ever did. Yeah, the idea right. that WhatsApp as a company had to shut this guy down. You're it's a rebellion. the most rock and roll thing you've ever done. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's amazing. What else mm. you been up to? Um, well, great question. Went to Canterbury. You love it down there, don't you? No. No. You should do, because that's where your girlfriend lives. Well, I love seeing her, but the Canterbury itself is... And, and this was Valentine's Day as well, wasn't it? You were catching uh -huh. up. You were, you know, how did, it, how did it go? Well, I was getting myself down there. Oh, and then, where? What? To, start, oh, the, start at the beginning cracky. of the night. Jesus. Oh, sorry. <laughs> God forbid. I know it's Valentine's Day, but you don't have you to You don't even start speak this. anymore. I know, just wait. Straight even... down. <laughs> Tell us about what the night that led to that. Ah, uh, sorry, Joe, I, mis <laughs> um, I mis misunderstood the question. Yeah. So I was um, Blimey. getting getting, Lucky the, lady. getting the bloody train down. Oh, is, that, God. is that what you Bloody train. Oh, stop it. Stop it now. That too far. Well, so she's on the period. No, she's not. Oh, God. God, sorry. Well, I guess none of your business. 
Depends um, when you watch it. Very well done, Ethan, there. Yeah. yeah. yeah Go sorry. on then. So you got the bloody train down and, you, and you're heading down south. South, yes. And then um, I get I get to Canterbury. Oh, there you do. The big C. <laughs> <laughs> Right, oh, anyway. brilliant. Right, you're in Canterbury. What happens? <laughs> well, I get down to Canterbury and I'm going, I'm going, the woman next to you on the train is standing there and she's got flowers between her legs. I think, bloody what the hell? hell? Fucking hell. Oh. She's got flowers <laughs> between her legs. <laughs> He's, why are you so romantic you're about so the vagina? Funny, yeah. nice. Woo! No, I love no. that. No, no, no. I was thinking, tulips. No. <laughs> <laughs> That is so. Two lips. That is so good. That is so childish. I'm really sorry. Stop to it. all of us because we do. Friends. Yeah. So there's a woman who's got flowers between her legs. Is she stood up with just holding them there like she's about? Is she to a pull. magician? Is she but gonna like keep pulling different ones? <laughs> down? No, 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 no. Stop. We said that's enough. <laughs> no, yeah, well, you can be a magician about pulling stuff out. I okay. mean, just between her legs. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, she she was simply stood on the train because it was quite crowded. Was holding the flowers so she could use her hands. Right. Yep. Holding the flowers between her legs. Yep. And I thought, bloody hell, flowers. I need flowers. <laughs> um, bloody hell, flowers. <laughs> so yeah. I, I went off to get some flowers when I got to Canterbury because I don't want the, them to be all scrumpled on the train. Fuck <laughs> me. Scrumpled. Um, so I, I got the flowers and I, I also thought I'd treat her to some nice chockies. Aww. So I got a. Uh, the Terry's chocolate orange <laughs> truffle ones. Ooh, they are nice. Never had them. Very, very Fiver. Fiver. Christ. Oof, God. Yeah. So, uh, fifteen quid's worth of chocolate and flowers. So it was good quality stuff. Yeah. That's, um, that's the, I think that's the most you can spend on chocolate and flowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it gets more than that. And um, she was she was delighted with these because she didn't expect any Valentine's gifts. But there I was. That says a lot. Chocolate and flowers in hand. And then I had some of the chocolate oranges. You they were did? delicious. Oh, yes. Why did you have them? Oh, they're my favourite. No, but they're for her. Yes. Did she get you anything? Hey, wait a sec. Who ate the first one? She did. Okay. Nice. Yeah, you're well good. There, good. Ethan. Well. Did, you, did you get anything, Ethan? No, 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 no. Well, we agreed not to, but I just thought I'd you yeah. know, oh, play my part. He's learning, he's isn't he? He's loving it. He's le- and dish- I bet she loved that, didn't she? She was very grateful. Great. And then... We went on a night out, you see, so it was meant to be the winter ball, but none of the students, they all went on, uh, can you see, they went on strike against it because they decided it was too much money, £48 per person, Ooh. which was quite expensive. What do you get what for you that? What do you get for yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, Depends yeah. you get three courses. Well, yeah, you can get three croquettes for that. I, 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 you know what? It's a good question. I think they were so gobsmacked by the £15 price rise from last year Ooh. that they just said, no, 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 not for us. So they all went out. Dressed up lovely, and uh, I was wearing my nice shirt and trousers. And then anyway, we went to the club, and we, we come back, uh, me and Manisha come back, and in classic Manisha style, she said, I forgot to bring out my keys. So we stood out there, stuck outside. Well, you and locked yourself out of the Locked the cell. I told her before we left, bring your keys, and she forgot. So we stood out there, so we walk around the, the back of the house, we're looking at the windows, everything's closed, and I'm like saying, this, uh, I was really cross, because I said, we need, I said, remember it before it's we Make go. sure you teach her a lesson. Yeah. So obviously when someone makes a mistake, what they need is for their boyfriend to really sort of hammer that. But it was cold, Joe. It was, it was, it was oh, late yeah. in the morning. He had his best shirt morning. on. Yeah. I had my best shirt on. I was a little what bit. What time is this? I, half 12. Okay. Big night. Big night. And um, so anyway, I walked around all cross because she was saying, oh, she was going, oh, I'll get a taxi there back in here. I was like, all oh, right. And then I looked. The latch on the <gasps> kitchen window was yes. positively erect. No, that's not what they call latches, wow. but you just wanted to say erect, which is great. And then I said, <laughs> I'm going to go for it. Yay! Lad, so, how big is the window? Talk to me. Scale, size, height off the ground. Um, so I'd say probably above the ground 
It was a bit of got a that jump. bit. Yeah, I assumed it was above the ground because you know the do you know the concept of a, of a window underground <laughs> doesn't exist, obviously. So <laughs> famously, it's, it's above the ground. Yeah, so how far above the ground? I'd say seven foot. Right, and nice. how big is the window? But there's a bush in the way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and how? And I'll say it again. For that one with the flowers is back. How big is the window? <laughs> um, I'd say. Um, well, the window is, is, is like a landscape window, but it, it opens up into uh, two parts, uh, one on the left, a centrepiece which doesn't open, and the right bit which also opens. So just the left bit was open. So I had to put my shoulders together a little oh, bit. Oh, God. So it's um, quite small, yeah. You, I wouldn't do it, would I? I wouldn't be able oh, to Oh, no, Would no. I get him through it? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, fuck off. I'll di- there's not much difference. I'm bigger than him. Yeah. Well... Anyway, I, I I got a little. Should give you a little push. I off I went through, broke the blinds. No. Yeah. Oh, Why? That's a cost, isn't it? Yeah. I I did I did kind of fix them. I put them up in the way, so I think when the next it. person knocks it, it'll be their fault now. Yeah, good lad. Yeah. Um, and I made it in, so my mood lifted ever since then. Unbelievable. I felt a lot more positive. Um, and a great night. We also, when we dressed up, and everyone looked fantastic, we had done the pre-drinks and weather spoons. Classic. So it, we looked you very classic. You love the weather yeah. spoons, don't you? Oh when yes. There's a spoons. There's a way. Yes, there motto, is indeed. You absolutely love it. What, what, what was weather spoons called? Was it one of those ones with a fancy name that sort of tries to represent something about the local area? The, the, I think it's Thomas and Goldby or there something. Go. What the hell does that mean? To man. It's a man. Um, would you ever take us to Canterbury? No. Why? Why? Shy. Who is? I'm not shy. Both. <laughs> what about uh, Mark? Is he is he fuming still? Oh, uh, a shy. I haven't seen Mark since. What are the rumours? What are the rumours saying? Two, he's mean? fuming, Ford isn't Escort he? Mark 2. No, oh, the guy who's got a, a, a brother called Mark. Yeah. We oh. called him Mark 2, didn't we? Oh, I thought he said something about Ford Escort then. Yeah, but... Oh, cool. Well, I don't, I, don't, I don't think he was ever happy. I've not, I've not seen him since. He's, he's a good guy. And that's, that's, what, that's what we all could do at the end of the day, just be good people. That's what I'll say. I'm yeah. really happy for you. So, oh. how's Manisha just generally? Is she okay? Oh, really well, really well. We haven't met her in a while. We haven't seen her in ages. Ah, she's, she's well. Isn't she? This is a Mark situation. Is she pissed off at us for that? Oh, do we cause murder in Canterbury for some reason? Um, no, it was her fault because she showed all her mates, so she, she has to take um, responsibility as, as much as I do. Mm. Has she taken responsibility? No. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Right, welcome to a new feature called Top 3! It is time for this fucking class feature. The Top 3. 3, 2, 1. 3, 2, 1. 3, 2, 1. The top three. This all inspired, uh, it was inspired by, what, well, the top three best things. Yeah. Which we did on episode once, and Ethan's top three best things were... Um, oh, was it... Oh, it was tits, booze, and the football. Tits, booze, and the football. Yeah. So, each so inspired week, by that, yeah. we're going to do one every single week where we bring in our top three things. And then we discuss it, and you discuss it in the comments. What are your top three things? Based on Ethan's list, I've picked basically one of those three things. Nice. Top three, <clears throat> pints. Pints. Ooh. So you're getting something in a glass, a pint full of summer. What are your top three? Now, there's a lot of conjecture, a lot of talk about this. If we just spoke to you 18 months ago, there is no way Guinness was making this list. No, no way Guinness was making this, but it is in. Oh, Sean, should you give him our list? Well, let's start. Let's start with you, Joe. Okay. What are your top three pints? I'm going to go from three to one. Three, Peroni. Two, Guinness. One, Moretti. Oh, beautiful. You like the little man with the hat on, don't you? I love the little man with the hat. I love how happy he is knowing that I've just bought a delicious pint of Moretti. Obviously, uh, Guinness, I get it. it whatever. One and three are basically the same on your list, aren't they? Nope. Moretti and Peroni. They're the same thing. Just because they're both ending in an I. Well, they're both sort of similarly priced, similarly strength, similarly tasting lagers. But what do you want from me? If they're the two best, then surely they're... Do you think they are? No. Uh, if they're, right. Moretti. Birra Moretti. That bloke with a hat on. Are you, sh- are you mad? Are you it's mad? a fucking delicious bite. It's, yeah, not. but it's not really, is it? No. It is? No. Ethan. No. No, it, what are yours then? Here it, we no, go. No, no, Birra Moretti. Hell, brown that? ale. No, Moretti is a, is, a, is a poor choice. Yeah. Peroni 
It's the only beer that makes me physically ill. Yeah, because you can't hack it because you're a puss. Hey. No, no. Uh, go on then, what is your three? Too much wheat, I think. Too much yeah, wheat, of course it is. Top three pints, Ethan. Fuck you know. um, They're all made of wheat. Number three. Yeah, that's true. Camden Pale. Oh, Ooh. what a fucking hipster we've got on our hands over here. this lad about? In number two, an oat milk flat white. No, oh, Heineken, number two. Heineken? And I'm getting slagged off of Ray! Say he's number he's one! Like, oh, you're a disgrace. Number one is the Guinness. Yeah, number one yeah. is the Guinness. Guinness is going to feature heavily, isn't it? Oh, you're not slagging him off. Heineken in at number Heineken two. Is Heineken, shit. no, Heineken, garbage. Heineken, and I can tell you this for a fact. <laughs> Is the most refreshing pint on the market. For a fact. No, you know. I can tell you this for a fact. fact. You don't know what these facts, facts are. You are the facts. I, I tell you, I tell you for one. For why? Uh, the the World Cup in 2022 when Heineken done those, um, the the different countries on the glass and just that good vibe of watching the World Cup and a nice cold Guinness from the fridge. Wait. Fantastic. So your favourite Heineken is a Guinness from the fridge. Did I say Guinness? Yeah, yeah. you did. You, my friend, your list is did not. Your list is garbage. Your list, your list beans, wanted man. to be Guinness, 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 didn't it? Yeah. A fair ha- play. Heineken's fantastic. Yeah, you bollocks. Fantastic. Right, come in. Here we go. Crisp. What do you mean? Here we go. So we've never heard of it. In number three. Low and brow. Low and brow. <laughs> You've never. <laughs> you don't dislike low and, low and brow. brow. Low and brow is fantastic. Oh yeah, low and brow. My ass. Have you ever had it? Never. Right, so how do you know shit then? What is it? Seven quid a pint from no, a it's not. It's a lager. Back shed. It's a oh, lager. In this place. I'll be, I'll be f- spraying you from my back shed in a minute. Go on then. What's next? Number two is Guinness. Yeah. Oh fuck it. What's number one? I need. To, we need to talk about Guinness in a sec. And number one, the best pint, the most thirst quenching pint, the most delicious pint, the cheapest pint. A lovely pint of tap water. <laughs> is no, you no, can't no. get near it. You can't no. get near it. You cannot get you near it. You can't get tap water in there. So so your list is your list is number three, Lone something bro. we've never heard of. It's a lager. So we can't it's even a tell you lager. if it's nice or not. Well it is. Number two, yeah, we get it. But number one, yeah. water. Water is the best pint. Water can't be beaten. A, a nice cold pint of water. With some, oh, I don't know, some frozen water in it. And maybe ice. Maybe some Robinsons in there. Yeah, Robinsons. Well, well now it's cordial. All right, then. Much better. All right, you know, I think we can all agree cordial's the best pint. <laughs> yeah, <that is. laughs> We've all gone for that. So cordial. So cordial then. one, Guinness two. And lager three. Lager. <laughs> <laughs> There's your top three. Although I do need to talk about Guinness. We need to talk about Guinness just quickly. I, I don't want to say fraud. I, th- I love Guinness, I think it's delicious. I think this whole thing about rating the Guinness, how much it sticks to the glass, yeah. the dome on the top, how long they leave it to sell, they do a good Guinness, ah. they do a bad Guinness, this is the best Guinness in there, no Guinness in England can be as good as a Guinness in Ireland. It's all fucking bullshit. No, 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 no. It's no. nonsense. I'll tell you why. It is nonsense. I'll tell you for Go why. Go on then, why? Are you a part? Of the Guinness community page on Facebook. Yeah, a load of fucking losers who pretend that no. drinking no, Guinness no, he's out wrong. of a plastic don't do it, Joe. is don't wrong. inherently worse than Doesn't mean it. Doesn't mean it. Doesn't mean it. Me, bullshit. You're all bullshit. You. You're all sucking yourselves off. Guinness, Joe. You can have a bad pint Joe, of Guinness. You've got I'm all not wrong. denying that. No. But this whole thing of like, here's a question for you. Guinness is made in Dublin, right? Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So a Guinness made and drank in Dublin. I understand why that would be great. Freshest quickest whatever manchester is closer to dublin than the than the far southwest of, of islanders so it would take less time for a pint of guinness to get from the no, dublin it factory in, in, in dublin to manchester sorry, sorry how quick are you driving on the road from dublin to manchester you've got to get on a fucking ship yeah for what 25 miles do you, you know how long those ships are do you know how bumpy the roads are down to the southwest of have you ever been Ireland? on the sea <laughs> you mad <laughs> what the sea's rocky. Yeah, but not necessarily. No, 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 no. We're not. F- you're not flying a keg straight from but the it, airport, landing in Manchester. No, are you? What I'm saying is, it's it's just as quick and just as rocky and bumpy as it is the, to get to the, the Irish net. Sea. Is deadly. Not always. Would you swim it? No. But, but you'd walk the road. Road. I also would you'd walk the roads, wouldn't walk you? From Dublin to the south of Ireland. Cherry Island. Cherry no, Cherry so, so, Cherry so, 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 One of us walks the west of Ireland. One of us swims the, the point Irish I'm Sea. Making is. It doesn't take a long time for a pint of Guinness or a, a keg of Guinness to get from Dublin to Manchester. It doesn't, it's not necessarily being chucked all over the place, chucked about, whatever. Why would a pint of Guinness served in Manchester necessarily be worse than one served 
anywhere in Ireland. Why is that? Why would that be the case? I don't know. Because it's false. <laughs> this whole thing, you can't touch a pint as good as you can in... It's not even real. It can't. It cannot but it be, can real. be real. Let me know in the comments. It can Let me know be real a little bit. Why it must be the case that a, a pint of Guinness served in Ireland is necessarily better than one served in England True. or anywhere else in the world. I get a big flight to America. That takes time. Whatever. But it still only takes eight hours. Okay. True. You've got the Guinness Community First Week page all wrong. Go on then. It's not about the pint. <laughs> what is it about? It's about the tits. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's, it's, it's just, no, right, move on, just move people on. posting pictures of their great pints whilst leaning over the pint and they, they get a load of likes. Yeah, they do actually do. The just like. honestly, in the comments, please let me know why this I think whole, you're wrong th on There's this. this whole sort of show around Guinness. You pour it, you must let it settle. You can't... I, I would bet you right now, Joe... If I pour two pints from clean lines, regularly used, whatever, you know, there's things that make a decent pint, obviously, yeah. how cold it's stored, all that. But let's say it's hitting all those criteria. If I poured you a pint of Guinness that was poured, start to finish in one motion, put on the bar, left to settle, and then I poured one three quarters of the way, let it settle, then topped it up, let them both settle, you would not be able to tell I the difference. I think you've lost a lot you of would respect. Not you would lose your head a little bit. And, and no one can convince you with that. Let me know in the comments. Right, we don't have long because we've got to get to what Ethan's brand new feature. Sounds like this. Harry Potter's pretty good. Harry Potter. Oh, Pocahontas is a lovely film. Harry Potter. You won't believe it. It's time for my film review. Ethan, do you want to announce it? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, this wasn't my idea, but by demand, the, uh, Ethan's Film Club has returned. Whee! Oh, yes, isn't that exciting? By popular demand. By popular demand. And uh, listen, I was, I was having to think oh, what yeah. you would like to hear about film-wise and what I've experienced. And the most recent film I've watched, and I've just begun to realise this, I s I've always said it's my favourite film, but I never watched it all the way through. <laughs> no way. Your favourite film of all time, you've never seen the end. I, it's his It's his conception video, and he, huh. he can't get through it without finishing. Yeah. So that's why he's never watched the whole thing. I've watched the whole thing. He's written that down, he's cutting that out. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that's what, that's no he's, had, he's, had, he's added in a bit. Oh, he's added in a bit. Now. Yeah, could we put a clip of that in? This is Ethan's mum and dad. Oh. Listen, the, the thing is, I always said this because it's it's I iconic, yeah. and and I I've seen a bit of it. I used to think it's great, and people used to say, "What about that scene?" And I used to go, "I don't even know if I've seen that scene, but you love it. It's <laughs> it's it it's, it's Forrest Gump. Oh, how nice! But but bloody hell, you, you you forget what's going on, don't you? So I watched a bit of it the other day. So if you still the scene, you what you say you watched a bit, but you didn't watch all of it. Well. I didn't see it from the start, but I've seen the start before, so now I think I've pieced it all together now. This is crazy. I've never known a human this being... This is crazy. Never known a human being say that their favourite film is a film that they have never seen all the way through. <laughs> that is incredible. That's, but, that's unbelievable. But it is, it is. Like, you, you re-watch it, it's like a new film every time. Yeah, because you've not yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. seen it. It, so isn't, what, it literally is a new film. So what is it that you love about it, so then? What's your review? Then. Give us the review. Mark no, Kerr mode. I had to think about it. I think it's actually pretty fucked up. Oh, yeah. No, it's... Like, seriously, we all go, oh, what a lovely film. At the end, you see the feather floating away, and you think, oh, God, isn't that innocent and nice? But actually, the, the reason that feather's there is because something's been killed along the way. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. it... Let me put it simple. <laughs> that... Please do, put it simple. Please do. That last, Jenny... Yeah. Oh, fucking bitch. <gasps> Awful. Awful. Oh, one of the worst. One I, of the I worst. used to, I used to really like what a manipulator. Oh. He's 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 not a clever man, is Forrest. And That's Mr. Gump to you. Uh, Mr Mr. Gump. He, he he's not he's not the cleverest of men, even even though he's one of the most spectacular of she took advantage of him. And do you know what she does at the end? Oh. She she sleeps with him. Right. So, so far, so good. They, they don't. He doesn't know that he's got a child for years and years. As soon as she's dying, we think from AIDS. 
He's, hold on. Just, uh, wait, hold on. 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 Is that true? I don't remember that bit. Yeah, we, yeah. we think from Who's AIDS. We? Well, they don't say. Are you it, a doctor? Well, they don't say she's got a disease that's killing her, but obviously she, she slept around a lot in the 60s. Wait a sec. Wait, AIDS we... is not. <laughs> Say, when you say we think from AIDS, who is we? I think, well, not many You in the Guinness Club. Not many common diseases kill young people at age. And we know she, she liked to get herself about. Ethan. <sighs> Ethan, you can't say it. No, you, you can. Why? It was the 60s. What, what? When AIDS didn't exist? 70s, 80s. <laughs> no, 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 That's no, 20 no. years, man. Where That's a 20 year swing. Well, listen. So, right, she's dying, and then what happens? He, he just dumps that kid on him, the one from that Santa Claus film, isn't it? Yeah, but if it's his kid, and <laughs> Why didn't she tell him earlier, though? That is a good exactly. point. Exactly. Why it didn't is... she tell him earlier? And also, this whole film is about yeah. a, a lad potentially with learning needs. Yep. Learning so... needs. Yeah. Learning oh, difficulties. Basically, going to war, being, being kind of pushed around into loads of different political situations, having sex, not being told about his kid. He's, he's a spectacular man, but he is taken advantage of by a lot of people in that yeah. film, isn't he? Uh, yes. Interesting. Well, well, I can't wait for Ethan James's film reviews. But what a great oh. film still, I think. Am How I, many Ethan's uh, out of 10? How many Ethan's out of 10? Or we're doing it on pairs still, it's out of five, this segment. Oh yeah, do, do, how many Ethan's out of five? Was it, no, was it not pairs of vans? No, it's, it's going to be little <laughs> Ethan faces. Oh, the, your new little hell. logo. How many little Ethan heads is it out of five? It's a great film, isn't it? It's your favourite film. You but said it's, that. it's, it's, I think it's been looked at the wrong way for. <laughs> for it's, it's, it's his favourite film. Okay, it's his favourite film, film in the world. Five and he five. says it's been looked at the wrong way for. Oh, wait, oh, we're doing out of ten? No, it's out of fucking five. Four. <laughs> four out of five. We're in the there is no listen, five listen, five listen. Films. We're in the mood to show even the best films ever yeah. to try and find another film that out trumps. <sighs> uh, obviously, what Forrest Gump? Get into the comments. What should he be watching? Yeah, perfect. Joe and Ethan, it's time for this. Mm. Oh, that's definitely no, no, ten. Definitely, 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 definitely. Oh, that is sensational. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine out of ten. We've no idea how long the jingle lasts for. Anyway, yeah. it's time for the 9 out of 10 club. Hey! Hey! 9 out of 10 club. This is one that I don't know if we've had it as an object before, but there's a specific version of this object, which is an undeniably world-class food. Really? Undeniably world-class. My mouth is watering just thinking about it. So I'll just tell the people, 9 out of 10 club is the best food on the market. Stuff that's, you know, 10 out of 10 is a, I don't know if anything's 10 out of 10, truly. There's always a weakness, there's always a flaw. But for me, something that is absolutely as good as it gets as a food, the burrito, Mexican, rice, wrap, mm. meat, guac, sour cream, cheese, salsa, bread. B not bread, there's no bread in it. What more, could, <laughs> what more could you want? Now this one in particular is the Pancho's burrito, which is yeah, located you've gone to the best one. in the Arndale market uh, in central Manchester. But this one, for me, is their best burrito. And which is it? It is their lamb burrito. Nice. Which a lot of people will have never had before. So this is their lamb burrito. <clears throat> it, we've also, this, they've given us some complimentary chips, which I quite like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy about that. <laughs> chips as in like uh, tortilla chips. Tortilla chips. Not, oh. um, not like, not potato chips. Um, but I'm just going to get stuck straight in. Give me your general thoughts on the burrito as a concept. It's done. What? Burritos are done. It's, sh it's shit. It is shit. Burritos are shit. The dead. The dead. Who puts? It's dead. The rice in the burrito takes away a lot of the flavors. Just have a wrap. The rice is not needed. Rice in bread is not needed. It's not like chips in bread. It's not like that. It's not bread. It's a wrap. It's still bread, isn't it? What makes up a wrap? Flour, water, shit like that. For me, it's nice, but it's not. It's been done. It's been tried and done, and all you go to now is places where you've got little add-ons and stuff will charge you 11 quid for what essentially is rice and a bit of meat. I don't like it. I don't like burritos. I, mean, I honestly think putting the rice in there kills it. 
Do you like him? Are you joking? <laughs> Give us a bite of it. Give us some rice. What, what? are you saying, Ethan? Have a bit of that. Look at it. Look at it. Oh it's my god. Tangy. Look at everyone's like, it's oh my spicy, god. Spicy, it's it rich. Uh, it's it's uh, meaty. It's yeah, smoky. There's no way you don't think that tastes absolutely fucking delicious. It's a great bite of food. Right. Well, it's I, not my favourite. I can't believe it. Oh, it's a bit too smoky now, actually. What do you mean, too smoky? Who are you, fucking... I'll get it right. Who are you, Rishi Sunak? Trying to ban people smoking. A bit of nerve, aren't I? Ethan? Oh. This isn't stuff ourselves, club. Oh, is it not? I'll be watching you too, log. Anyway. He hates me today, doesn't he? Nah, he's what's going it. on with you, Ethan? It's what's what's your beef for me? He's fighting back. I think it's lamb. <laughs> Is it lamb, Drew? Mm -hmm. It's not beef. Um, I think... Listen. There's a better things in the world than the burrito. Yes. Yeah. Such as burgers. Fajitas. Um, Fajitas. What else? What else is better than the burrito? Chicken wings. Grilled cheese. Grilled cheese. This, this, bet that this goes hard. Probably. We don't do this with any other food. Don't lose your head. He's the one listing food. Um, you said they were dead. He said burritos are dead. They're done. It Listen, it's like it's like Giros's. They're done as well. No, they're not. You're, no, you're wrong there. Actually, Giros's are so done. You just hate rats. The amount of shit. I, oh god, Giros's are done. No. no. Well, come on, Ethan, talk to me then. No. All right, listen, Joe. It's it's weighty. Is it good for you? You just like it because it fills you up. Let's have it right. You're a big boy. You need feeding, like me. Right. And let's just say the burrito does fill you up nicely. Well, that tastes fantastic. The meat, the cheese, the tangy sort of fresh vegetables in there. The floury, soft, chewy wrap. There's not too much rice in there. That's not a rice heavy burrito. Because yeah, I wouldn't have it in if it was. Oh, what did you say, Ethan? Well, it's got quite a lot of rice in it. It's got some rice in but it's not like... How much rice do you think it's got in it? I don't oh, know what that means. 300 grains. <laughs> <laughs> do you not like burritos? What is, what the fuck is no, I, this? I do. I it's not 2014 anymore, Joe. Grow up. Listen, listen. <laughs> Nine out of ten, you have no, to I'm be. I'm just in a mood. I don't know what. I, I do. The burritos are. Really For nine out of ten, I think usually, and we always say this: when it comes out, when it's unveiled, you need to have that. <gasps> burritos. If people rewind, Drew, when you get the burrito out, everyone just. You weren't went, even excited. I don't even know what that means. You, you, stop how saying, you judging you that? You can't just shoot me down by saying you don't. How, know you do, how are you judging how you got, excited oh, I am? We all go. Oh. I had a we all do a clap. Here's, all right, let me role play. Right, cool. Here's what happens when I bring out a really nice nine out of ten. No, but, I give, brought in. Give an example. The world's nice food, nicest food. No, no, no. Whoa. no you have to give a specific one. Give Roll a specific clap, one. Go clap. Whee. Give a specific one, and then we'll see if it works. All right. <clears throat> I brought in the Levenshume Bakery. <laughs> <laughs> it is good, isn't it? <laughs> it is good. You didn't clap. I you didn't clap because I had a burrito in my hand. I'd have fucking burst it on the ceiling if I'd have clapped. <laughs> Can't be doing that. Getting lamb down for weeks. Do you know what I mean? Lamb, um, lamb waterfall. It's a good bite of food. I'm sick of you. It's a good bite of food and it's a nice lunch and it'll get you full. It will. Is it nine out of ten? Yeah. I think maybe there's certain elements in there that are nine out of ten, like the lamb. Can I say this as well? Oh, yeah, go on. And this is classic me. Yeah. I think there's too much salad options these days. <laughs> I mean... I think the only salad option is the word salad on this. No, but like... Like, I went to a shawarma place the other day, mm -hmm. and it's by far the best shawarma I've ever had at a place called Skew in Leeds. And he went, yeah, loads of salad out in front of it. And he went, do you know, do you know what? Can I recommend you something? Just go, onions and parsley, Pickle, a little bit of lettuce. And do you know what it is? It's like the double cheeseburger yeah. or the triple cheeseburger. Just go a little bit of on diced onions, a couple of pickles, that's it. Let the meat do the talking. In there. That's what you say. I've heard you in say that through there. the wall when you were with Becky. Yeah, what does that let mean? the meat do the talking. I'm wrap this. Uh, in there. A little, little bit of pickle. A little bit of pickle. <laughs> in, what do you mean through the wall? There's, well, no, you, there's nothing next door, is there? Not at uh, your house. Well, what have you been for the other side? I was in the, I was in the garden. You're in the garden? Yeah, picking litter. It's become a council issue. Yeah, I know it. I, yeah. I love it. 
Um, I think I, I, it's, it's a nice 7.5 out of 10. In fact, it's the most 7.5 out of 10 thing we've ever brought in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. In it, Ethan. Yeah. No, you know what? He's right. Oh! <laughs> Um, First time we've agreed with him all day. But listen, and it's to kill me. It's to I'm, kill I'm my hair. Say, I think this is the best burrito I've ever had. It's fantastic. Oh, but it's, it's oh, but it's a seven out of ten. It's 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 yeah, a brilliant the burrito. Best it'd not be ten out of ten. He said it's brilliant. It's fantastic. He do, yeah, even even people you are keep to doing think this. Of, even people, people start seeing to oh, your shtick, bitch. No, listen. Sorry. It's it's a, Except calling you a bitch. It's a burrito at the end of the day. But it's a brilliant one. The heat is fantastic. The lamb's delicious. Yeah. Um, but that's 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 all as, as far as I can Are go. You're right. Well, for you me, Pancho's Brito in the Arndale, the lamb in particular. If you ever go in there, it's got a big reputation. The lamb is the one. Get, the lamb is crucial. the la lamb was delicious. The lamb is Incredible. fantastic. For me, it's a nine out of ten. For these guys, it's a seven and a half. On average. But we're being fair there. Looking though. at an eight. We're being fair. being fair. The burrito boys will be after us here, Ethan. People are starting be. to question your. Your judgment at the minute, Ethan. A lot of people in the comments are really starting to question. Mm. Can I have a chip? See what it's like. No. I think I think they are, but uh, fuck up, fuck them, eh? Fuck them. Sloppy Joe's 2.0. We've all lost our fucking minds. Can I have a crisp? No. Why? A bit rude, aren't you? No, I'm not rude to crisps. Crisps are great. <laughs> Bloody hell, what's this? It's like poppadoms. Pico de gallo. Pico de gallo. Anyway, everyone, thank you very much for watching. The first Tuesday episode of Sloppy Joe's 2.0. Get your thoughts in on the burrito. Because that was a disgrace what those two have just done to that. One of the best foods on That's the market. That's nine out of ten. Fuck off. All right, then. Can that go in? Chips and salsa. Mm. Ethan, chips and salsa? No? Uh, no, I think the shit. No, uh, two out of ten. No. Okay. Well, hold on. But two say nine. Anyway. Chips and salsa in the nine out of ten. Way. Right, we'll see you on Friday. Da -da -da. Special ba guest. Ba -da. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. Wait, Ethan. Hurrah.